All right, Sam, let's go to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Last week, we talked about how Justin Fields is not the guy, how Justin Fields is getting a lot of credit for just being a game manager while this defense wins a lot of these games. 3-0, and can't take anything away from them. But today, yeah. Pittsburgh finally gets in some trouble. The defense doesn't exactly come to play, and mm-hmm. Justin Fields gets the weight put on his shoulders, and let's see what he does with it. And he looked pretty good today. He yeah. really did. Moved the ball up and down the field, and the most important thing, because he's been moving the ball between the 20s all year mm-hmm. long, he, he finished looked- some drives. Yeah. They scored touchdowns where the first three games, they were settling for three every mm-hmm. single time. That's a big improvement. That's what we were talking about. But on the flip side, got to say it, he had a chance with like a minute 30 left in the game. Down three, had a chance to go tie it up or win it. He fumbles a snap, and then he tries to throw two interceptions, but they both get dropped on the last play. So, again, a lot of good here, and we did see that he can play from behind, that he can go try to get you a W, that he can play in a shootout scenario, but also he's not going to be the guy that gets the job done in those pressure cooker situations. So we were he showed what we were waiting to see, but also, he still ended up being exactly who we thought he was. First off, to the Steelers fans who Joey and I were fighting tooth and nail with in our YouTube comments, we love you. Thank you for engaging in our content. Uh, I hope you engage in this, because I want to take my victory lap on this, actually. One of the com- one of the arguments, one of the- something I said to somebody is, you know what, This he's doing great. He really is. He's doing exactly what you want him to do because the defense is carrying the load. But you, like, don't come crying to us when you need a clutch two-minute drive to win the game and you realize what he's made of. And, I mean, it couldn't have played out any better. We're not saying Justin Fields is bad. We're saying he was in Chicago, sure. But we don't think he's talent. He, we don't think he's talentless. He's good. He's talented. And talent will get you somewhere. He's not great. He's average. Sometimes average quarterbacks can throw can have really good games. This was a good game for Justin Fields. And you know what? If if the Steelers can get this Justin Fields and the defense is great, then 24 points is going to win you a game every single time. If the defense is playing like it has the last three weeks, then this is all you need from Justin Fields. And if that's your argument, Steelers fans, you're exactly right. But the second you need... Like, you better hope you just waltz on into the Super Bowl and nobody gets close to you. Because the second you need to come from behind in the fourth quarter, I don't think it's happening in the hands of Justin Fields. I don't think that's on the table. And all we're saying is that his, this is not a long-term answer. And we can we can fight on that all we want. We're going to... St- I, I know I'm going to stand by it and say, like, look, let's see how the season plays out. I don't think I'm wrong after watching that game. I don't know about you, Joey, but still, fun game. If they get this from him every time, this is great. I was so excited whenever this game got started and Indianapolis starts hot and we have the Steelers down, and I'm like, okay, here we go. This is the exact scenario that we talked about. Let's see what Justin Fields does. Whenever he the defense isn't clicking and he's not playing with a lead, what do the Steelers ask him to do, and can he get it done? He played yeah. really well today, right? came back he finished drives he did everything we asked for him so he answered those questions but yes he had a chance to go get it done at the end of the game and he fell apart he's not going to be that dude can he be a dude sure can he win some games absolutely fun game he definitely he earned my respect today more than he had before but ultimately right ultimately you know i hate the argument sidebar here but it's on it's on topic i hate the argument it's like i'm not sure that guy can win a super bowl it's like okay yeah no there's like five percent of the league guys can win a super bowl right Mm -hmm. so like i don't love that argument it's just like if we only do like your super bowl guy or you're not that doesn't make sports conversation any fun you know talking about where these guys stack up against each other that's a much more interesting debate so i don't want to be here saying like justin fields will never win a super bowl yeah i don't think he will but there's a lot of guys who will never win a super bowl